Titans are the strongest alliance members in the Skibbity Toilet universe, which is why I wanted to make them even stronger. So I created the Diamond Titan, a Titan that is completely made of diamonds, has dazzling powers, and is overall a hundred times stronger than a regular Titan. Now, for the next 100 days, I'll be surviving as the Diamond Titan in Minecraft, while upgrading into bigger forms. Will I be able to free the Lava Titan from the Skibbity Toilet's mind control, or will I melt under the heat? You'll have to watch until the end to find out. On day one, I spawned in as a baby Titan surrounded by the other Titans of the Alliance. Standing in front of me was a mysterious Diamond Stone. Today, you will surpass even our power. Reach out for the diamond. I listened to the titan's command and touched the stone, causing my body to transform. I grew bigger in size and my body turned into powerful diamonds. I was now a diamond titan with five more hearts and new powers. I'm gonna use this power to protect the alliance. Suddenly, the areas around us began to change into lava as the lava titan arrived with an army of fire skibbity toilets. He was being controlled by the fire scientist skibbity. <laughs> At last, I've gained control of the lava titan. Now all of you will fall to his power. The Titans tried to fight back, but one by one, they were melted down by the Lava Titan's hot magma. They were completely powerless to his might. Max, run! You're our last hope! I watched in horror as the Titan cameraman died. I was the only Titan remaining. I ran for my life, knowing that I didn't stand a chance. Get him, men! On day two, I was chased through the city as fire skibbities hopped out of the lava to capture me. I managed to keep them off my tail until I was faced with a massive pool of lava blocking my path. There's no way around this. I'm trapped. The fire skibbity toilets closed in on me, but suddenly my diamond titan powers activated, creating a diamond platform on the lava. This is my key out of here. I quickly jumped from one to another until I crossed the lava pool. I spotted a ladder and climbed up it to find higher ground on top of a water tower. They can't reach me up here, can they? Just then, the lava titan appeared. Must obey the skibbity toilets. The titan used his incredible powers to smash into the water tower, causing it to collapse under me. I plummeted back down towards the lava below. On day three, I was about to hit the lava, but quickly used my diamond powers to create a diamond platform under me to land on just in time. Phew, <laughs> I was almost burned to a crisp. I then looked back up and saw that the lava titan was still coming after me. Get back here! The lava titan stormed forwards, and I ran while I still had a chance. As I ran, I spotted a tunnel and took cover inside of it. The lava titan emerged from the lava and continued to search for me. You think you hide so easily. I will find you, Diamond Titan. I need to stop him, but I'm not strong enough yet. As the Lava Titan left, I thought I was safe, until suddenly, lasers were shot at me and the camera woman jumped out ready to fight. Who goes there? Ah, please stop. I'm an ally. Wait, you're the new Diamond Titan. You survived the attack? Before I had time to explain, fire skibbity minions stormed the tunnel. We had been discovered. Stand back. I've got this. The camera woman then fought off the threat with her incredible powers to buy us some more time. Whoa, you're awesome. It's dangerous here. Come with me. With no other options, I followed the camera woman to an unknown location. On days four through seven, I escaped with the camera woman and arrived at her base. However, we soon realized that all the other cameramen had been transformed into camera toilets. What happened to my men? Eliminate the Diamond Titan! The horde of corrupted cameras attacked the two of us and we braced ourselves for battle. I wasn't gonna stand around this time and watch. I fought back with my diamond powers while the camera woman backed me up with her laser gun. We made a good team, but there was one problem. I don't wanna kill my own men. Don't worry, I've got this. I quickly rounded up the camera toilets and used my diamond powers to create a cage around them, trapping them for now. Good thinking. Oh, so horrible. Who could have done this to them? Me! Suddenly, a nearby screen powered on, revealing the fire scientist Skibbity had been watching us remotely. You monster! Does your evil know no bounds? You're just lucky that these weaklings weren't powered up. 
but now you'll never be able to restore them to normal. Especially not without the Titan cameraman's hammer that I'm keeping locked up at my secret volcano base. Wait, did you say secret volcano base? I... I... Uh, no, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Silence! The fire scientist Gibbity quickly hung up the remote call. Volcano base, huh? Well, that gives me a good head start. I know where a nearby volcano is. Take this map and give it a look, but be careful. You got it. With that, I quickly headed off in search of the secret base. On days eight through 10, I followed the map until I arrived at a volcano where an obsidian skibbity toilet base sat inside. This must be the place, but the skibbities have sharp weapons and scorching fire magic. I gotta be careful. I was about to continue forward when a fire skibbity guard walked into my sight. Yeah, I can't believe they would put me on guard duty. I was a major bad guy in every other episode. I just hope some alliance torch so I can blast them to bits. I took cover just before I was able to be spotted. Ah, must have been the wind. Phew, this base must be crawling with threats. I need to find another way inside. I looked around to notice a cave at the base of the volcano. I decided to pass through it in hopes of sneaking into the base. Inside of the cave was a massive cavern full of lava. I used my diamond power to create small platforms, allowing me to jump over the magma and climb closer towards the beach. Suddenly, the ground began to shake violently, causing debris to fall around me. An intense heat, even greater than before, filled the room. Oh no, the volcano is going to erupt. I hurried back towards the exit, but rubble collapsed in front of it, blocking me inside. I was trapped. On days 11 through 14, the lava was beginning to rise around me, and I was beginning to run out of time. I used everything I could to try and break through the rubble, but it was no use. There has to be another way out of here. I looked up and realized that I could escape to the top of the volcano. I climbed up closer, but the exit was really far away, and I was out of options. All right, powers, don't fail me now. I focused on my abilities and began to shoot a barrage of diamond crystals, launching upwards and out of the volcano. Eventually, I made it to the top and back on top of the obsidian base. I did it! Just then, fire began to pour out of the top of the volcano as it erupted around me. I was out of time. I swiftly ran through the entrance before the lava was able to reach me. On days 15 through 17, I was inside of the skibbity base, and thanks to its obsidian walls, I was able to survive the eruption. There has to be something useful in here. I began to stealth around the facility, avoiding the incoming fire skibbity guards that roam the corridors. As I searched, I spotted the Titan cameraman's hammer sitting on a pedestal. There, the fire skull skibbity from before was guarding it. That guy again? Huh. Let's see if I can take the hammer from under his nose. I kept my head down. It snuck towards the hammer. As I closed in, I suddenly stopped my tracks when I noticed some kind of button on the floor. It was a landmine. This whole room was booby trapped. That was close. I gotta be careful or I'll get blown to bits. I tried to get in closer to the hammer, avoiding stepping on any mines, but I accidentally knocked over a glass bottle, causing it to shatter on the floor. Who goes there? Uh, not an intruder? Ha! <laughs> nice try! But I'm immune to the surgeon for the likes of you! Hand over the hammer and restore the cameraman to normal. You think you're in a position to make demands after destroying my favorite flower? I can, uh, I can pay you back? You'll play with your life! Oh, jeez. The large skibbity lunched at me, and I prepared to fight. On days 18 through 21, I fought off the fire skull Skibbity in an attempt to reclaim the Titan cameraman's hammer. He was stronger than the other toilets I had faced so far. He used his magma sludge attack on me, draining my health with each hit. Luckily, thanks to my diamond body, I could withstand most of the blows. I fought back with my diamond spikes attack, but it wasn't enough to take him down. You're weak. Take this. The fire skull Skibbity set off a nearby landmine, causing an explosion beneath my feet, leaving me with low health. He closed in for the kill, but I was able to create a diamond wall between us to buy me some more time. I went for the Titan cameraman's hammer and grabbed it, causing my form to change once again. I grew massive in size, acquired diamond drills in my back, and a hammer equipped in my hand. I now had 10 more hearts and new abilities. Who's the weak one now? Armed with my new weapon, I smashed my hammer through the diamond wall, and then another into the fire skull skibbity, defeating him once and for all. Now I have the hammer that'll fix the cameraman. 
I better not keep the camera woman waiting. I quickly return to the camera woman's base and use the power of the hammer to restore all of the cameramen back to their normal selves. We're back to normal. We owe you our lives. Thank you, Diamond Titan. You don't know me. I was just doing the right thing for the Alliance. You really are a powerful Titan. I think you would be the perfect leader for the Alliance. I accept. As the last Titan, I won't let you guys down. Then I have a mission for you, leader. Let's move. The camera woman led the way and I followed, ready for any challenge that might come my way. On days 22 through 25, the camera woman took me to a TV base that was in complete ruin. What the heck happened here? The TV men were last seen here, but the base was destroyed by the fire skimmities. If you can find the TV men as well as the rest of the Alliance, then we might be able to save the Lava Titan. Man, I know the Lava Titan was on our side before getting mind controlled, but that guy gives me the creeps. He's got those sharp teeth and that angry look all the time. Hey, it's not nice to judge a book by its cover, okay? Trust me, he's a sweetheart and deserves to be saved. I'll take your word for it. I began to scour the ruined base, searching for any clues to where the TV men could have gone. There has to be something useful around here. As I walked around, I suddenly heard a click below me. Uh-oh. The ground crumbled underneath me and I fell into a pit. Uh -oh. ah! When I landed, I appeared to be inside some kind of underground bunker. TV men rushed in and surrounded me, their weapons ready. Their large TV man leader stepped forward. Don't shoot! I'm the Diamond Titan and I'm here to reunite you with the rest of the Alliance. We don't trust you. What if the skibbity toilets have you under their control? Allow me to prove myself to you. Mm. Very well, then you need to come with me. I then followed the large TV man to an unknown location. On days 26 through 28, I arrived at a skibbity prison with the large TV man to find that it was heavily secured. The TV woman is being held captive inside. We need the might of a titan to save her. Don't worry, leave it to me. I stepped forward and unleashed my new power onto a nearby prison wall, causing it to crumble at my feet. As the large TV man and I made our way into the prison, I heard an alarm go off. Attention, Skibbities. There's been a breach at the southmost wall. Find and eliminate the intruders. We have to move. Before we knew it, the fire Skibbity minions arrived, closing in on our position. Uh, we don't have time for this. We need to find the TV woman before something happens to her. Don't worry. This won't take long. As the toilets closed in on us, I unleashed my new diamond powers. Thanks to my transformation, I was able to knock them out one after the other with ease. The large TV man backed me up using his static TV screen powers. Taste the power of the diamond Titan. After we defeated the troop of Skibbities, I swung my hammer into a nearby wall, knocking it down and allowing us to move deeper into the prison. As we did, we found the area where the TV woman was being held prisoner. There she is! TV woman! Uh, TV woman? To my surprise, her head was the only thing left inside of the cage. No! They took my body to be tested on! You will have to hurry and save the other half! How could they? That's horrible! Guess you could say I'm losing my head. Are you making puns right now? At a time I'm like this? It's how I stay calm in stressful situations. Oh, I'll stay with her. You get her body back. Right. Don't worry. I'll stop them. I used my hammer to break her out of the cage, then left to search for her body before it was too late. On days 29 through 32, I was sneaking around until I found the part of the prison where the TV woman's body was being held. There it is! Suddenly, a large fire saw blade skibbity dropped down and revealed himself. Let's see what happens when the body is exposed. Your heat. Step away from the TV woman's body unless you want to get smashed. You might have defeated the weaker toilets, but I'm on another level. He charged forward and I braced myself for battle. He used his saw blades to strike me and I tried to fight back with my hammer, but the fire saw blade skibbity was right. He was much stronger than the other guards I had fought. I won't let you hurt my allies. I was able to land a heavy blow, giving me an edge. I was about to win. <laughs> You're going to have to choose between killing me and saving your precious friend. He flipped a nearby switch and the TV woman's body was dropped towards the ground. No! I used my diamond powers to block off the lava, saving her body. But in the process, I left myself vulnerable. Way to leave yourself open, fool. Before I could react, the fire saw blade skibbity trapped me in a cage of fire. It's time I take you to the scientist. <laughs> On days 33 through 35, I woke up inside the fire scientist Skibbity's lab. Looks like we captured a little runaway. What do you want with me? I'm going to implant a Skibbity into your head. 
and take control of you, just like we did with the Lava Titan. He then released a miniature toilet into my cage. No, get that thing away from me. Once the Skibbity takes control over you, those alliance fools won't stand a chance. <laughs> but before it was able to hurt me, the TV woman's head flew into the room along with the large TV man. Air coming! She released a blast of energy that zapped the mini toilet to a crisp. No! You'll pay for that! Destroy that head! The fire scientist Skibbity sent a large fire helicopter Skibbity towards the TV woman, but the large TV man ran in just in time, hitting them with his static screen attack. While the TV man kept him busy, the TV woman's head turned to a nearby wall and hit a switch, freeing me from my cage. Nice going! Thanks, TV woman! No problem. No need for you to be all cagey. Uh, four out of ten. TV woman, I thought we agreed that I'd do the fighting. You're vulnerable without your body. Oh, pff, quit your nagging. You know I'm no good at sitting still. Now let's find my body and get out of here. The large TV man finished off the skibbity helicopter, and we all turned to make a break for it. You won't get away with this. The three of us ran off as fast as we could before the scientists could call for reinforcements. On days 36 through 39, we arrived where the TV woman's body was. There it is. So all we have to do is grab it, right? Seems easy enough. Not so fast. Just then, the fire sawblade skibbity appeared out of nowhere to stop us. Back off. You can't defeat us. Are you sure about that? He threw down an upgrade potion on himself, causing his body to grow into a much larger and more powerful form. If we want to get my body back, we'll have to defeat him. Then let's brace ourselves for battle. No, save your strength. I've got this. The Sawblade Skibbity let off his new Firebolt ability and struck the large TV man, knocking him out. You sure about that? I ran towards him, fighting back with my own powers, but my attacks barely made a dent. The large Sawblade Skibbity dashed towards me, preparing to strike, but the TV woman flew in front of him and used her abilities to blind him. Ah, my eyes, it stings! No, Max! I took my chance to land the finishing blow. He died, dropping a diamond part upon his death. I grabbed it and gained five more hearts and new powers. The TV woman then reunited with her body. Finally! Thank you for helping make me whole again, Max. Thank you for saving me. And now that you've got your body back, the TV man will join my cause. Just then, the large TV man began to wake up. Oh, oh. Hang on, TV woman. I... I have nothing to worry about. I'm back in one piece, see? Impressive. I underestimated you. Suddenly, we spotted more skibbity guards coming to capture us. Hey, they're, they're escaping, escaping with, with the TV, TV woman. woman. Get them. Let's get out of here while we still can. On days 40 through 43, we returned to the TV base and reunited the TV woman with her allies. TV woman, you're safe. Thanks to the Diamond Titan. If he hadn't been there, I would have been tele-eliminated. Uh... <laughs> you know, like television? <clears throat> it's been a stressful day. Well, Max, a deal's a deal. The TV men will officially join your cause. Our celebration was interrupted as suddenly the wall exploded and the Lava Titan emerged over the TV base. Looks like I found you, Runaways. It's time that I finished where I left off. He unleashed his lava powers onto the base, burning everything around him. The TVs tried to fight back as the Lava Titan continued his reign of terror. Stop this, now! I won't stop until you are defeated. I tried to fight back, but the Lava Titan was too powerful. After a few heavy blows, he had knocked me to low health. Is, is this the end? Just when I thought it might be over, the TV woman intervened. Find the clock tower and bring the clock men. The clock men? Why? They can rewind this disaster and revive our fallen allies. <sighs> Alliance pests! I'll finish you off once and for all! TV woman, look out! I watched helplessly as the TV woman fell trying to defend me. TV woman, no! As the Lava Titan turned his attention to me, I had no choice but to run. On days 44 through 46, I was flying through the overworld until I spotted a large tower in the distance. That must be the clock tower that the TV woman was telling me about. With the clock tower in my sight, I flew straight for it and looked down to find more lava had formed. 
the Skibbity's army's control was spreading across the world. Man, these guys spread like a plague. I gotta get to the tower before there's nothing left to save. I continued on ahead and landed next to the clock tower. I was on edge, ready to fight, but there was nobody around. This must be the place, but this looks like any old clock tower to me. Can this really save the TV men? Looks like you're missing something. I turned around and saw a lone clock man standing before me. This is indeed the clock tower you're looking for, but it cannot function without all of its pieces. Where's the missing piece? On the other side of the world. This clock tower has been in my family for generations. I fought with my life to keep it safe, but in the end a piece of it was stolen. You must find the wretched toilets who took it and- Nah, I'm good. Wait, what? I flew up in the sky and found the gap in the clock tower. Using my powers, I filled in the hole with diamonds. Once the face of the clock was fixed, it transformed into a portal. Wow, thanks for making me waste a perfectly good speech. What? I can't hear you! <laughs> Here goes nothing. I flew through the portal, and when I came out the other end, I was in a city from another dimension. The place was under attack from magnet skibbities who were engaged in an epic battle against the clockmen. Oh no, they're in trouble! Lucky for them, a titan just showed up! I flew into the battle and began to fight off the magnet skibbity threat. I unloaded a barrage of diamond projectiles into the horde of enemies, taking several of them out and forcing them back from the clockmen. I don't believe it. A titan! We may have a chance after all. I ran towards the Magnet Skibbity soldiers to keep up my attack, when suddenly I was intercepted by the Magnet Skibbity toilet leader. He landed an electric shot attack on me, sending me flying back. What are you, some sort of diamond freak? <laughs> I'll crush you! That's right. Let's end this quickly. These clockmen are needed elsewhere. On days 47 through 50, I was fighting with the leader of the Magnet Skibbity Toilets. He used his electromagnetic attacks on me, but since I was made of diamonds, the magnets weren't as effective. This power! I've never fought anything like you before! I'm the Diamond Titan! I'm here to put an end to your reign of terror! I used my diamond block attack on him, dealing loads of damage. I approached the wounded Skibbity, ready to finish it off with my hammer. Did you really think that I wouldn't find you? I turned and saw that the fire scientist Skibbity had arrived in this dimension. What? But this is a whole different dimension! How did you get here? I'm the most advanced intellect in the entire Skibbity army, fool! There's nowhere you can hide from me. He used his power to transform the Magnet Skibbity into a brand new fiery form. The scientist Skibbity flew off, leaving me with the fiery Magnet Skibbity and his stronger flame attacks. I tried to retaliate with my own attacks, but his new form was much stronger than before, and I couldn't keep up. <laughs> you were supposed to be fighting! What a joke! As the Magnet Skibbity charged up a deadly new attack, I thought I was done for. But time suddenly froze as the Chief Clockman intervened with his time powers and ran to my side. This time stop won't hold them forever. Come with me, my boy. Together, the chief and I ran away, escaping from the battlefield. On days 51 through 54, the chief clockman and I arrived in a hiding place. Who are you? And what was that fiery scientist, Skibbity? I'm the Diamond Titan, the last Titan in the Alliance. I need the help of the clockman to save the Lava Titan. The Lava Titan? I haven't heard that name in a long time. What happened to him? He's been controlled by the Skibbities. But if we can free him from the Skibbities' mind control, he can help us defeat them for good. We'd be happy to help anyone who's against the Skibbity army. But first, we need to defeat that fire magnet toilet. You got yourself a deal. Suddenly, we were discovered by a sinister-looking magnet Skibbity minion. There you are. You're not getting away. My metal body can't handle these magnets. I'll need your help, Max. Leave it to me. He tried to pull us in with his magnet power, but thanks to my diamond body, his attacks weren't effective. I stepped in front of the chief clockman, effectively shielding him from the magnet skibbity. You can't kill me. I'm diamond. You fool. <laughs> I wasn't going for you. Huh? I turned around and realized there was a massive metal crane above us. Oh, that's not good. He used his magnets to make it collapse and crush us both. 
as the metal crashed into my body, everything went dark. On days 55 through 57, I woke up and found myself trapped on a conveyor belt heading towards a pit of lava. The chief clockman was trapped next to me. Oh no, they're gonna melt us down! Oh no, they won't! The chief clockman used his clock powers to rewind time, making the conveyor belt move in the opposite direction. Wow, nice work! Thank you, Diamond Titan! Now let's get moving! We have to take down that fire magnet toilet as soon as possible! Not so fast! <laughs> Suddenly, the magnet skibbity from before arrived with a group of magnet helicopter skibbities to stop us! You're not winning this time! I used my powers to take down the toilets one by one. With their magnet powers being ineffective to my diamond form, I was able to overcome the challenge. Just then, the larger skibbities went for the chief and tried to eliminate him. Leave him alone! I used my powers to kill the toilet and save the chief. The battle had been won until the fire magnet skibbity arrived. You may be strong enough to defeat my minions, but you won't be able to stop me! On days 58 through 61, the fire magnet skibbity approached us both, so we had to think fast. With our powers combined, we can take him down! Eh, I'd like to see you try! He used his fiery electromagnet attacks on the clockman, severely injuring him and taking him out of the battle. No! You'll pay for that! I retaliated with my own diamond abilities, but without the chief clockman helping me, we were neck and neck! You fool! You cannot defeat me in my ultimate form! There's gotta be some way for me to gain the upper hand! Just then, I spotted a diamond item glittering in the corner. You're not the only one who can upgrade! Chief! You need to grab that diamond part for me, quick! I'm on it! The chief clockman ran over and grabbed the item. He then tossed me the diamond part, causing me to gain five hearts and new powers. That's more like it! I used my new powers on the fire magnet skibbity and began to overwhelm him. No! This can't be! With one final blast of my new diamond powers, I defeated him, saving the alternate dimension from the magnets! You did it! I couldn't have done it without your help. Thanks, Chief. We need to return home. The TV men need our help! Consider it done! I'll gather my clockmen! And together, we'll save your allies! With the clocks on my side, we return to my dimension to save the TV men. On days 62 through 64, I return to the TV base with the clockmen. What a disaster! Don't worry, I'll make this right! The chief clockman rewound time, and suddenly the base was returned to normal and the TVs were revived! Whoa! My entire life just flashed before my eyes! You did it! Thank you, Max! Of course! But it's not over yet. We still need to find the drill men and the speaker men. You're looking for the drill men and speaker men? There's something you should see then. Lead the way. The TV woman led me to an area of the base where some sort of battle map was laid out. We fought alongside the drill men before. We were recently planning an assault on a skibbity toilet base. These were our battle plans. It has the location of the drill men base on it. I took the battle map without hesitation. Thanks for your help. Here's hoping I don't run into any more trouble along the way. I left the base and followed the map. After some time, I arrived at a deserted battlefield. Everything was in bad shape. Something really terrible must have happened here. Just then, I spotted something scurrying by. Hey, stop right there! I used my diamond powers to trap them and realized it was a baby drill man who looked frightened. Oh, sorry little guy. Sorry for scaring you, but I need your help. My people are in trouble. Without a second thought, I destroyed the diamond cage and freed the baby drill man. You can count on me. On days 65 through 67, I followed the baby drill man to a mine where all the other drill men were being forced to mine for lava. The lava titan was towering over them, keeping a close eye on them to make sure they didn't step out of line. Work faster. The skimmy toilets don't have time to waste. The lava titan showed up and forced us all to woke. We don't get any breaks and he tweets us terribly. He's nothing but a great big bully. This is so cruel. So, can you help me save them? I want to, but I'm not strong enough to defeat him yet. But I thought titans were heroes. Heroes can defeat anything. Surely there's something else I can do. Aha! I've got an idea! I snuck in closer to the lava titan. Please, can we take a break? I'm exhausted. Silence! You can rest when the work is finished. But the work will never be finished. Then work faster! 
While the Lava Titan was distracted by talking to the Drill Man, I unleashed my diamond powers. For the Alliance! I made a diamond cage around the Lava Titan, capturing him in place. What's going on? What's another Titan doing here? This is the Diamond Titan. He's the hero here to help me defeat the Lava Titan and save us. I thought I told you not to put yourself in danger like this. I told you, Dad. I'm a hero, and heroes save their friends and family. I was wondering when I'd see you again. You really think that this little cage can hold me? If it can't stop you, I will! He used his strength to smash through the cage, breaking free! Grace me, Diamond Titan! Everyone, run! On days 68 through 72, the Drillman and I were being chased by the Lava Titan. He tried to use his fire attacks to slow us down. At this rate, we were all going to get caught! We should fight him together! No! Everyone go on ahead! I'll hold him off! You heard the Titan! Oh, come on! I stopped and faced the Titan head on while the others ran away. My, my, you sure are brave. Too bad you're going to die for it. Was killing all the other Titans not enough? My bloodlust is infinite. You all must burn. He unleashed a stream of flames towards me, trying to melt me down to scrap. To protect myself, I formed a diamond shield before me, blocking the attack and saving my skin. You're gonna pay for what you've done. Before I could make my next move, the Lava Titan used his brute strength and smashed through the diamond shield, launching me back. I don't need lava to defeat you. I'll crush you with my bare hands. The Lava Titan came at me and we traded blows back and forth. I tried to strike him with my hammer, but he took to the skies and dodged the attack. You have quite a noble cause, but we both know you don't have what it takes to challenge me. He unleashed a wave of fire that pushed me backwards into the lava. Luckily, I landed on a lone platform, but soon found myself cornered. There was nowhere else to run. Lava Titan. I know you're in there. You can break free of the Skibbity's control. This isn't you. Silence. Your words mean nothing to me. I'll admit, Diamond Titan, you've certainly gotten stronger over the course of your journey. But you'll never match even a fraction of my power. Now burn. He began sending fire in my direction and I quickly put up a diamond shield, but it wouldn't last long. On days 73 through 75, I was sure I was about to get melted when the baby drill man from before jumped in to save me. Get away from Mr. Diamond Titan! Ah, what can a pathetic child hope to do against my unmatched might? This to ask you. While the Lava Titan was distracted, I fired a flurry of diamond attacks from behind, staggering him for now. Wait, what are you doing here? I thought I told you to escape with the others! I know, but I couldn't just stand by and let you sacrifice yourself. That's not what heroes do. He then led me away from the Lava Titan to reunite with the Drill Men. Louie, before he wakes up! Thank you! <sighs> You won't get away for long! I headed down the path as fast as I could. Once I reached the end, I found the other drill men reunited in a cavern. Son, you're back! And you brought the Diamond Titan! This little guy saved me. He's the real hero here. I'm a hero? I'm a hero! Woo! Now, did everyone get out? Are we all here? Everyone seems to be here. Except for the large drill man. He must still be stuck at the Drill Man base. We need to go save him. Then lead the way. No Alliance member will be left behind. On days 76 through 79, we were heading to the Drill Man base to save the large Drill Man, when suddenly we found ourselves in a room full of spider webs. What is this place? Suddenly, out of nowhere, fire spider skibbities crawled out to capture us. You will fall to the skibbity army. They swarmed us and I tried to fight back, but ended up getting stuck in one of their webs. Oh no, I can't move. I used my diamond beam powers to keep them at bay while the drill men tried to dig out another exit. I freed myself from the webs just as their exit was complete. Let's go, hurry. 
We all ran down the passage and I used my diamonds to block the exit, trapping the spiders inside the cavern. On days 80 through 83, we finally arrived at the Drillman base where I found the large Drillman being held captive. Standing in front of his cage was a fire skibbity guard. You guys find a spot to hide. This could get ugly. Yes, sir. The remaining Drillman found a spot to lie low while I approached the skibbity. Let the Drillman go. Never. Once I kill you, the war will be won in the name of the skibbity army. I braced myself for a fight as the guard charged forward to attack. He used his fire attacks on me. I fought back with my own diamond attacks, but he was strong. Max, catch! The baby drill man tossed me a diamond part. I grabbed it and gained five hearts and upgraded strength. Don't underestimate the power of the alliance! I struck down the guard with my new strength, winning the battle! With the guard now defeated, I was able to successfully free the large drill man. Thanks for saving us all. The drill men will forever be your allies. Then it looks like I just need to find the speaker men now. On days 84 through 86, I returned to the camera woman's base to regroup with all the Alliance members I had saved so far. You're back. How'd it go? The Lava Titan was forcing the drill men to work for the Skibbities. I was able to help them escape, and they're happy to join our cause. That's terrible. I'm glad you were able to free them. And having the drill men on our side certainly doesn't hurt either. All we need to do is find the speaker men. Once they're on our side, we'll be ready to fight the Lava Titan. Does anyone have a lead? While you were gone, I found this. She dropped down a walkie-talkie, which suddenly turned on. Please, someone help us! Speaker woman, is that you? Whoever's out there, I need your help. All of my secret allies have been captured. We hear you loud and clear. I'll be there shortly. I took to the skies and followed the source of the distress signal until I found the speaker woman surrounded by flames. Diamond Titan, is it really you? Speaker woman, I'm here to help you. I thought the Diamond Titan was a legend. I'm so happy to see you. I was hoping you would save us. Too bad that hope is about to die. Just then, a fire jetpack skibbity swooped in and took the speaker woman. I flew into the sky after him, determined to save the speaker woman. Get back here! On days 87 through 89, I was chasing after the fire jetpack skibbity. I'm not gonna let you get away with this! I tried to use my diamond spike attacks to slow him down, but if I wasn't careful, I could end up hitting the speaker woman instead. Don't forget. I'm holding your little friend. Dang, one wrong move and I'll hit the speaker woman. I'll have to think of something else to stop him. You'll never catch us. You'll have to sacrifice the speaker woman to kill me. Never! I'm not like your horrible toilets! I tried to summon a diamond pillar in front of him, but he evaded the attack and climbed higher and higher into the sky. No! I can't believe that didn't work! It was foolproof! I continued to chase, and once we were at the sky limit, the fire jet Jetpack Skibbity stopped and turned to me. I grow tired of this cat and mouse game, Diamond Titan. Die. He unleashed a flurry of projectiles at me. I tried to evade them, but one of them managed to hit my jetpack. No! With my jetpack damaged, I began to plummet to the ground. On days 90 to 92, I fell onto an island. Thanks to my diamond armor, I managed to survive the impact. Where am I? I looked around and saw that the impact of my fall had created a crater. Well, I won't find any answers down here. Time to get back to the surface. I climbed out of the crater, but I wasn't out of the woods yet, as fire skibbities began to surround the area. <laughs> You fell right into our trap! Your trap? I'm the one who made that crater! Well, I mean, he's not wrong. Shut up! Seize him! I used my hammer attacks to fight off the incoming swarm. I had lost my ability to fly, but I was still a powerful titan. I was able to easily defeat the toilet ambush. I decided that I needed to get to higher ground and figure out what was going on on this island. Ugh, I'm missing my flight already. This place is steep. As I traversed the island, I noticed a pair of fire skibbity guards out of the corner of my eye. I quickly took cover so that they wouldn't spot me. It's a shame our shift just ended. I could watch those speakermen struggle in their cages all day long. 
They're imprisoning the speaker men here? I better hurry up and find them. Once the coast was clear, I continued my search for the prison that was holding the speaker men. On days 93 through 95, I searched the island until I arrived at the speaker man prison. There, I saw all of the speaker men locked up, along with the speaker woman. The fire jetpack Skibbity was hovering over the base, speaking to his guards. The Diamond Titan is alive somewhere on this island. Stay on high alert. But he's so strong. How are we going to win? With this. The fire jetpack Skibbity revealed a diamond part. If I can get a hold of that, I could save the speaker men. I need to go for it. I rush forwards to ambush the toilets, successfully trapping the minions inside of the biggest diamond cage I had ever made. You unhand my men. I'm just evening the playing field. The two of us charge towards each other, ready for battle. The fire jetpack Skibbity used his flaming rocket attacks on me. I fought back with my diamond spike attacks, but it was hard to win without my jetpack. Get out of the way! I used a hammer attack to knock the fire jetpack Skibbity backwards and knock the diamond part out of his hands, giving me an opening to grab it. Now's my chance! I managed to grab the diamond part, granting me five hearts and new powers. Hey! And it fixed my jetpack too! I used my new powers to overwhelm the fire jetpack Skibbity and quickly defeated him. Once we were in the clear, I used my diamond powers to break open the cages and free all of the speaker men. The alliance is reunited. It's time to prepare for the final battle. On days 96 through 98, I returned to the camera woman base where all of the members of the alliance were now gathered together. We found everyone. Now we can finally take on the lava titan. We'll gather our forces and prepare for one final attack. That's a good idea. I just, I wish we didn't have to kill him. I know, Max, but what if it's too late to help him? It can't be, right? There has to be something we can do. That's where I think I can help. The camera woman walked forward and handed me a remote. What's this? Something I've been working on. It's like an antivirus to the Lava Titan's mind control. An antivirus? Really? How do I use it? First things first. You'll need to weaken him. Do that and you'll lower his resistance. Then you can use this to free him from the skivities. You're a genius! But what about the rest of the army? Leave the smaller toilets to us. You handle the Titan. Use everything you've got in your arsenal for maximum effectiveness. Eh? Eh? <laughs> That's a good one, TV woman. Thank you. All of you. I know with the Alliance backing me up, we'll all win this war. Let's settle this. Once and for all. With our forces finally united, we set off towards the final battle. On day 99, I arrived at the whereabouts of the Lava Titan with the Alliance at my side. Come out and face me, Lava Titan. Suddenly, the fire scientist Skibbity emerged instead. <laughs> you walked right up to my doorstep. Surrender now, and I'll make me quick. I'll never surrender to the likes of you. We're gonna save the Lava Titan. It's your funeral. Toilets, seize them. The fire skibbity toilets charged towards us in mass support. It was about to be an all-out fight. Where are we? I thought we were going to laser tag. Onward, Alliance. My men charged forward and clashed with fire skibbities. In the middle of the battle, the fire scientist skibbity sent in more attacks from above. Leave my friends alone! I charged in and attacked the fire scientist Skibbity. The two of us fought back and forth, and I began to gain the upper hand. You won't win that easily. Watch this! The scientist Skibbity opened a flaming portal between us, sucking us both in. On day 100, I appeared into a fiery lava escape. There, the scientist Skibbity and the Lava Titan were waiting for me. Let's see how you fare against the Skibbity Army's strongest soldier. Lava Titan, I know you're still in there. Must obey the Skibbity Army. The Lava Titan charged forward and hit me with his flamethrower attack. I fought back with my diamond beam power, but he was the strongest enemy I had faced by far. Mountain my flames. The Lava Titan unleashed his ultimate attack on me, bathing me in a fiery storm of flames. Luckily, with all of the upgrades I had gained along the way, my diamond armor was able to withstand the heat. Yeah! I charged forward and landed a heavy blow.
glow on the Lava Titan, causing him to be dazed. This antivirus has gotta work now. Here goes nothing. I triggered the remote, causing the small skimmy spider to fall off of him. I quickly crushed the tiny toilet, and the Lava Titan snapped out of his trance. No! What is this? Obey me! You obey me! You abuse my power long enough. Time for this war to end. Together, the Lava Titan and I charged towards the fire scientist Gibbity, dealing a combined final blow and defeating him for good. The Alliance had finally won the war. Woohoo! We did it!